these first two weeks? Um, pretty much just understand our mistakes that we had, um, going every single day, going harder, and just try to push our limits and just fix the small details that we missed, messed up. Luke Gifford was saying up there that he's really impressed in practices, the attention to details that this team has had. Are you surprised some of those things haven't shown up in games? There's been some kind of little detail issues early on. Um, well, it's a game, it's a game, and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's different atmosphere than practice, but yeah, sometimes it's surprising, but at the same time, we know that we know when we make a mistake, and we know that we're not supposed, to, we're not going to make that second mistake again. And what Coach Frost, what Stanley say to the team afterwards? What's their message? Um, basically, that we gotta pick it up, no matter what. Um, we have a, a high expectation for us. We had a high bar for us, um, and we really had to reach it. And right now, it doesn't feel like we're reaching it right now. So Coach Frost and Stanley just told us, hey. Think about what we said in the preseason, exactly what we wanted to do, and live that expectation. Did, uh, did Stanley just get up on his own and do that? Uh, no, Coach, Coach told him to uh, break it down, but uh, his words was needed for the team because it's one of those things that we have to do. Can it help that you, you get a Big Ten start here this week and I guess – you hit the reset button a little, at least with the 0 and record in league play. Is that can that help guys move on? Um, yeah. Um, pretty much after a game or after any bad play, you gotta have short term memory because if you don't, it's gonna drag you along th throughout the whole game. So live every day, day by day, practice by practice, just getting better. How tough is that grind mentally when you're fall you've been behind early in the last couple of weeks and you're kind of just trying to fight up the whole day? Um, it can be difficult, but being around like the right people, like just being around like the defensive linemen, defense, and the offense, we know that we're falling short in some places, but we know that at the same time we're going to progress every single day. Freedom, you got a heck of an honor this week with the Good Works Award. Can you talk a little bit about what you still do uh, off the field uh, to, to get that award? Um, pretty much, I just volunteer, mentor, try to give more than I've received because this university has given me a lot, like more than I can ever ask for. And just giving back to kids, um, just anybody, it's a blessing. So I think that's probably why, probably why I got that award. And I'm very honored that I got that award. And um, I'm just gonna keep doing that because that's how the way I was raised. And what are a couple of your latest projects and how hard is it to do that with school work and during the football season? Um, right now I'm starting to do like a, a mentoring program. And it's hard a little bit, but at the end of the day it's worth it. Because not being, or not having the attitude of I want to do this, I want to do that, and having the attitude of, hey, maybe I should change or help other people or change their life or just be a, being a huge aspiration can may change their day or may change their life.